So this is what we do when we've finished our project and we want to render it from logic into the video file. Um, and that will create a new QuickTime movie with your sounds embedded in it. And that's what we need to do for the final assessment. Um, the bit that I chose to work on here from that Dolls Hospital is kind of in the middle. If I zoom out, the movie is a lot longer, but I just did this middle section. So I'm going to use the cycle markers just to choose the section that I worked on. And by doing that, it'll only export that <coughs> chunk. Um, let's just play it back. Cool. It's looking good. I think what I did kind of ended there, so I'm just going to stop it about that. Very short, but so we've checked the start and end points. What also you should probably do is just make it nice and neat by including a fade in and a fade out. So let's do that. In my main output in the mixer there, if we turn on read, notice a new track opens up in the arrange page. And if we press A for automation, and get the volume control. This is the main output volume. So let's zoom into that little section. And right at the beginning, put a bit of automation that, let's zoom in a bit more to get it more accurate. Creates a nice neat fade in. Maybe a bit longer. Cool, and then going to do the same again at the end. Let's put a couple of automation points and just have it so it fades out. It's going to look more pro like that. Let's make it a nice longer fade. Once you've done your fades and made sure it's in the right place, the, the left and right on the cycle marker, we're ready to export. So if you go to File and Movie, you'll see there's a command that is Export Audio to Movie. So let's press that. It asks you what you want to call it. Um, I'm going to call it Ed's Dolls I'm going to save it in my logic drive you can leave those as they are 44.1 kilohertz 16 bit save <coughs> it's pretty quick it depends how involved your project is. It might be that if you've got a very complex project, it might take a lot longer, but mine's super simple. Well, actually it's unfinished, but <laughs> um, let's now check that it's rendered it properly. Should always check before we upload stuff. So open up Finder, Logic, there's my QuickTime movie, Ed's Dolls Hospital Foley work. Let's double click that and have a look.
random uh, place to stop. But yeah, it all looks good though. The fade out works. Um, it looks as it should. Cool. That can now be, well, if you can, try uploading it onto uh, YouTube. Come on. So press the upload button. You can just drag and drop. Rather than it being public, I'm going to have mine unlisted. I don't. Oh, dodgy internet. Um, let's try it again. The difference between public, unlisted, and private. Uh, public, everyone will see it. Unlisted means that it's available, but it won't appear in any searches. And if you've got followers, it won't appear in your videos list. But I will still be able to look at it if you give me the direct link. Private means it's totally private and only you can watch it if you're logged in. Which is not good for us because um, it means none, none of the lecturers will be able to watch it. So often for these... If you set them as unlisted, that's that's good. Um, you could add a description in there if you wanted. And if it's all good, click done. <clears throat> Great. And I can paste that directly onto my blog page now, and it will just appear nicely in a normal YouTube video, and it will that's the best way of presenting your work for the for the project. Um, what might happen though is YouTube might recognize that it's uh, protected content or something, especially if you've done a, uh, one of the feature films. So uh, we'll just have to play it by ear with that. Cool. So that's it. The main function in Logic, all you have to do, rather than bouncing it, is just go File, Movie, Export Audio to Movie. Sometimes it comes up, uh, it didn't for me, um, but sometimes it comes up if the original video has a soundtrack already in it, it'll ask you if you want to include that. There's a little checkbox, just don't tick that checkbox. What might happen otherwise is when you listen back to the new rendered movie, you hear your sound as well as the original sound at the same time, both will play back. So uh, if you end up Getting that, just when you export your audio to the movie, uncheck the little box. But that's it's pretty easy otherwise. I'll put this video up on our um, community, so uh, if you get stuck, you can always come back and refer to this. <clears throat>